Hey there! So I'll show you how eye tracking and mouth tracking works real quick. So first things first, um, all of the stuff for the mouth tracking is usually beneath your avatar where your mesh is. So that it's pretty much in the same position as where all of your blend shapes are. So if I actually quickly open up my avatar's body, you can see here a bunch of different blend shapes that move around if I do stuff like this. Now, the way that these are actually mapped to my face tracking is using something called the avatar expression driver. Now, this is a very simple component that just, it, it just wants what type of expression you're doing and then a blind shape above it that it targets and then the minimum and the maximum value and how much to suppress that blind shape if you are actually talking. So that, for example, if you're talking and you're making Smiling while you're talking, that doesn't, you know, happen at the same time. Uh, obviously, in my case, these are actually blended together nicely, so you can actually do the um, facial blend shapes while also talking. Secondly, the eye tracking shapes are actually on your head, well, well, beneath your head, on a slot called the eye manager, more specifically in the component of the eye linear driver. And the eye linear driver looks like this. Now, this controls stuff like your eyelids moving a little bit upwards when you look up or moving down when you look down or otherwise deforming your eyes when you look around. It controls stuff like if your eyes widen, it actually pushing that up, which is the widen target, for example, that we have over here. That is what the eye linear driver controls. Pretty much anything to do with the face tracking, including the eyebrows. But yeah. That's it. That that is it. Yeah.